guys, this is a Friday evening. This video you will get Saturday morning. I'm out here on the pavilion. It's 95 degrees in the shade. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do gifts and goodies here in a few minutes, but uh, I want to talk about something real quick. Uh, Bree, down feeding her horses, and she found a nest, a guinea nest, had... I don't know, 17, 18 eggs, whatever, in it. Uh, and she was telling me about it, and that's what bring them down when you go feed your horses this afternoon. Pick them up, put them in a bucket. Be gentle. Be gentle with them. And I'll get the incubator going. We'll put them in the incubator. And you never know if they're going to be good because how long they've been down there. You know, sometimes guineas lay an egg a day. Thank you, buddy. Have a good day delivery man uh, and it may only be one or two guineas laying those eggs lay in this hot weather we got uh, may not be viable still good I, I don't know guinea eggs are pretty pretty tough so you know it's hard to say but when she brings them down we'll put them in the incubator in the meantime we're going to do gifts and goodies but we're also going to talk about some comments I got about folks uh you know, uh, their best days, what they consider their best days. And we can't do many of them, but we'll do some of them. I got some great, great comments on that. I got some good emails about it. And uh, very sweet, very sweet comments. So let me get set up for gifts and goodies, and we'll get started, okay? All right. I'm going to open. Got all my tools lined up on this table here, guys, but we're gonna do these boxes here also on the same table. So uh, I don't wanna take the fan off my little boys over here. And uh, I'm gonna get here to the edge. I got a little bit of a breeze this afternoon. You see the wind's blowing a little bit, and that feels good. It feels real good. This morning it was so still. So still this morning. You know, I said, uh, stop that for a second. Let's talk about Dan who made that mention about the perfect day. And I said, what, what would be your, your perfect day would be? I told him, man, you know, and he got several sweet ones. <laughs> One of them, I ain't going to call names. She made my day. She says, uh, I ain't going to read the whole thing. Her perfect day be hanging out with me. <laughs> Poor baby. Sweetie, we're going to have to do something for you. Uh, it's real cute, though. Talk about the things we do with feet up, listen to some stories, go through the back pastures, see all the animals, listen to Ivan. Went on and on. And I love it. So thank you very much. That would be your perfect day. I, I thought that was so sweet. Uh, and several others said, yeah, they felt the same way. That's awesome. Uh, And then there's some fairly, or there are sad. There's some sad of one one lady about waking up with no pain. God love you. Uh, prayers go out for you. You know, uh, a lot of folks have a lot of different pains in a lot of different ways. Some of them are very, very serious. Not just old bad knees like I got, but you know things like cancer and stuff like that. And God love you. I, uh, I saw my mom and my dad both. Uh, suffered with cancer uh, think about the perfect day would be the perfect day if they found out there was a cure and, and, and shared it and shared it that's the thing shared it you know uh, another one I thought was real sweet uh, uh, a, a person I lost it. Hang on. I was trying to read it to you. A uh, perfect day would be to be, with, be able to be with their grandson. And that, that touched me because uh, we have our grandkids here. Most of, most all of them are right here. And we see them, most all of them, every day. And, and that don't mean 
they're not special to you because you wait to see that one you don't get to see as often. And if you guys have children or grandchildren that live at a distance, you know what I'm saying. Uh, I love these little guys come bouncing through my house, you know, and busting. Carter's been in my house all day. Can't get rid of her. <laughs> I love her to death. But she just went home, just went home. Uh, but all these little guys are just special. You know, and they, they, they can make your day, but then you do feel so sad when there's one somewhere that you don't get to see every day, you know, you might every couple of weeks or whatever. But yeah, uh, this one person said it just would be the perfect day to be able to be with their grandson. And uh, my heart feels for you. Uh, But, uh, you know, everybody has their special place that they think is a special, a special place. And it don't necessarily mean they don't like it here. Every song talk about, you know, folks not wanting to be here. It's not that. This is home. And it's where they're going to come back to when they want these other special places to visit. Those are visits. You know, you visit the mountains. You visit the lake. You visit the, the beach. You visit different places. But when it's time to go to your place that you live and you want to live it's, it's here then they all come back here and that's not saying they'll always all be here forever i mean you know there's some that fear the floods i fear the floods i fear it. but I, i'm too old in my age to you know to think about doing something different if i did anything different it'd be to raise my house up now how am i gonna raise my house up you know uh I've heard it's, they can raise a house on a slab, but it costs you an arm and a leg, you can't, you can't afford all that kind of stuff. Uh, G and I was talking the other night, like, what will we do? We're thinking about, we're sitting there thinking about how to protect the belongings in the house. The house is, that log house is solid. It, you know, it can flood and come right on through it. We're gonna wash it out, wash it down. Them log walls are solid as they ever been. And now we don't have no sheetrock now, we ain't got to worry about that stuff. We take pressure hose and pressure that place down, pressure the floor out. But how do we protect our furniture? So we had some ideas. We get some sawhorses. <laughs> so I said, I can start buying sawhorses and stacking them up. Buy a couple every month. Nice, heavy duty sawhorses. We bring them in, we set them up, put two by fours, two by sixes something across and set the furniture on top of them all through the house. They'd be up high, you know. If it got deeper than that, then ain't much you can do about it anyway. But, uh, yeah, you know, these things, short thing about how, to, how, to, how do you save things? Not so much moving away, but how do you save stuff? But if I was younger, I might think different. If I was younger, I'd build my house up higher now. I know what's, what's going on. Let's open a few gifts here. We'll talk some more in a minute, okay? Hang on. Okay, we've got a boxes. Avid, Miracle, and Friends. Apple Nuggets. Yeah, we'll go back a little bit. One of these sacks, bags, and yeah, we'll give them treats, okay? Goat Minerals. Awesome. Awesome product. Nutri Good Senior Mix, okay? Nutri Good Single. Senior mix. That's what I would try to say. I'm a senior, Papa. I'm a horse. You don't have a picture of a donkey. Little old coat of bear. Well, that's the cute. Well, that's the cute. He's a donkey. I was a donkey. He couldn't stop talking about it. The oak trees. I was a donkey. I said, don't tell him, baby. I was a donkey, Papa. <laughs> See, the little books come, you know, the gift. Someone gift for the children and for Ivan. Uh, so you have to read to Ivan, too. But she was sitting there with the other night, and she was reading a couple of them little books, those little girls. Total Bear sitting up in her lap listening, paying attention, and looking at the pictures of the donkeys. So then we go out there in the, the pasture when Ivan comes up, she says, I was a donkey. It's like she never knew that before. That book has exposed her 
to Ivan's identity. <laughs> See, I never thought about Ivan being anything other than Ivan. He's just Ivan. Everybody just, that's Ivan. Now he's a donkey. <laughs> he don't like that. Okay, hang on, I got another box. This box also says Ivan, Miracle, and Friends. It's very gentle. It's a flat box. I don't want to cut something inside. Hang on. Always one part you don't cut. Had a friend come by this morning early. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I love this stuff too. It's a big bag, so hang on. I'll try to get it down without knocking my camera off. So I've got a temporary set up here. Temporarily set up here because all my tools are everywhere. I don't need your help, but here we go. Apple wafers, they love us though. 40 pound, 50 pound bag. <laughs> you got tough. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this little place behind me here. Uh, it's hot in there during the day. We're going to get the, the ceiling insulated for sure because the walls are not going to be that much. We're not only going to turn the air conditioner on when we're in there cooking and it's hot. But the ceiling is being just straight metal. We're going to put something between it and us because that metal just sucks that heat in. And once we put some insulation up there, whichever kind we decide, I'll probably be the wafer, I mean not the wafer, but like little hard full bank sheets. I think that's gonna cut down that heat from the ceiling a whole lot. Then we're going in good shape. I got the little window finished on the other side. And this window over here, over here, when we fill that in, I think we're gonna put a window there, but we're gonna try to get a slider, a slider. So. It can be closed, but you can just slide it, talk to people outside, hand them stuff through the through the opening. So I think that's what we're going to do on that. Okay. Uh, I had a friend come by this morning, a uh, guy I'd worked with for forever at the school. Had coffee with me on the porch. We had a great time. Uh, called Cuz up because Cuz and him and I are all good friends. Got a lot of stuff. We've done a lot of stuff together, and had to harass Cuz a little bit, you know, and had a lot of fun. And then he went on wherever he was going. But uh, I enjoyed that a lot with my coffee this morning, having, having them boys to kind of pick up. All right, I got another box here. I'm gonna open it in just one second. All right, I got actually it's two box, two boxes are taped together. I've separated them from. Diane McFeeders from Port Washington, Ohio. Uh, Papa Mara. Okay, so now let's look here. She, she does it like I do it. Look at all that tape on side. It ain't gonna come apart. It ain't coming apart. May take a minute to know. Okay. I don't wanna get too rough on stuff. You never know. Uh, I got my boys here willing to help. They're willing to help. If I need them, I do not want to call on them. Hmm. Hang on, guys. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Worried me. You worried me, Diane. Hang on. There's the note. 
Okay. And Laura at Big Race, Carter and Cash, Coda Bear and her sister, Carly. Sorry I'm so late mailing this out. Love to the whole family. I love the whole family videos. Diane McFeeders. They got her email, so I'll email her after a while. But look here. It scared me at first because I said, oh Lord, this stuff is going to be milked. But it's, it wasn't. Okay. Uh, I don't know exactly which is going to belong to who. But I'm sure G can tell me or Diane, I can email you. Uh, they may be all the same. You just have to pick one out that fits. Oh, he's beautiful. Look here. Little sharks. Won't fit me. <laughs> Won't fit me. Beautiful. Beautiful little sharks. Yeah, that ain't gonna fit me either. Can you see me in leopard? <laughs> Don't laugh. That ain't funny. Oh, uh, beautiful little shirts. Looky here. She will figure out who these go to, or I will email Diane here in a few minutes. There's two of them, two of them just alike. And she can tell me exactly who gets what. All right, hang on. Yeah. You'll see my Monday video. You'll see a little cash talking about different. <laughs> Water gun. Now this is probably for me and, and the boys, the big boys. Dan Lester. <laughs> so much stuff in here, guys. Uh, look at all these little containers with lids. Hold on. Little lids. All these little containers. Look at that. Awesome. Now, I'm about to, it's not free. That's not a bucket talk. Hang on. Put something on the floor, Bush. Oh, I got a toy. Brown shorts. This box, folks, this lady has packed it in here now. So, it says what I was fixing to say this morning down on the back pasture talking to Bree. Cash tell me what all he likes. He likes Mickey Mouse. He likes Mickey Mouse. A little book about Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, oh, it's the door. This has to go to the little girls. I watched so many Dora little movies, just little cartoons about Dora in my life. Friendly Grace loved Dora. All these kids love Dora. Shorts. Awesome. G will be so excited to see this stuff. Uh, colored chalk. Crayons. And just more and more shorts, guys. Uh, Shorts, shorts. Lordy. Several pair like that. Okay, three pair. Jumping beans, look at this little shirts. Three of these same kind of little shirts. Awesome, beautiful. Spam. Don't worry about spam. Uh, 
I'll take these in, Diane. And the girls will love this stuff. Little Carter, been at my house all day dressed like a princess. And I'll tell you something, Diane. I might use these. <laughs> I'll take it all in, let you sort it out. Move over. I'll email you. And that way, for something special for a certain one, you can tell me, okay? And uh, get all this stuff back into the house to her. All right, now. There's another box. There's two boxes. This one says Listen and Jake's. So I don't have to open this one. Ooh. Boy, I'll get this to Listen and Jake, okay? I'll get it to him. All right. Uh, Diane. Thank you so much, sweetie. I will. Seriously, email you here in just a few minutes. And for any certain certain thing to go to certain ones, you let me know, okay? Now, I got your email. Now, uh, I'm not getting a real good signal out here, guys. Uh, I wanted to talk about some of those comments I got. And... Another one here said her perfect day would be coming here to visit with us with her dad. If she thinks it'd just be listening to him and me. We must be a lot alike. That's scary. That's scary. Uh There's some sweet, sweet comments here, guys. Uh, I can't read all of them. Uh, one lady said, home is where the heart is. Uh, that I have been, I was raised here, I have memories everywhere, and I do. I, there's not anywhere I can't go out here or back there that I don't have memories. I mean, I, I've done something all over this whole place in my life. From playing to working to whatever, you know. Uh, this one here says her perfect day is sitting on the front porch with her girls and grandbabies with a good cup of coffee. That sounds like a per good perfect day to me. That's that's way I like mine to start. The one lady said, uh, I talked about the temperature in that video of Dan's, and she said it's 60. I think she, I think she said it's 61 there at that, right at that point at that date. And she's on her porch having coffee. It's perfect. And uh, it was raining. That is perfect. You can't beat going out sitting on a porch in a good just rainstorm, you know, as long as it's not going to flood. You don't want to flood. And having your coffee and enjoying it. And... Come back, boys. Get in trouble over there. Those little boys, they don't know. They're little, but they think they're big. And they see someone's dog come out, they want to run chasing. And they get their little butts hurt, you know. They're hard-headed. But you, uh, you're able to set out, like I said, you watch the animals, you know, waking up. On my front porch, I can watch Bree's horses start stirring around. I can hear Ivan to back calling his papa. The cows, you know, start moving around. The goats, the little side goats over beside the house, they out and start playing. These things, you know, just really makes it a perfect day. Then it gets hot. <laughs> then it gets hot. 
I see my girl Bree coming over. Uh, hopefully she brings them eggs pretty quick. I appreciate this stuff, guys. Uh, I'm going to take this stuff in the house. I'm going to email Diane. And uh, we're going to take some of these treats to the back. So stick with me, okay? Stick with me. We're going to take Ivan and his friends some treats and put them back in the pasture. closing this off hope you enjoy hit the like button share share the button uh subscribe if you haven't um some of these packages didn't have names in them you know who you are thank you so much uh i love you guys and the package said one out there says ivan miracle and friends that's exactly who's eating those treats ivan Miracle and their friends. And I'm gonna take a few. I saved some for the little girls over here. Okay? I love you guys. Y'all take care and thank you so much. <laughs>